Hey everybody, it's Rob here at Control Headquarters down here in the bowels of my home. <laughs> the basement, yes. Um, <laughs> so anyway, today, um, I got this idea off of some other fellow YouTubers. Okay, so this is not my original idea. But I'm going to give it a show and you can check out on my results and see how that goes. I'm going to attempt... I tried peanuts last year. We know all. We all know how that turned out. It didn't. I'm going to try again, though. Don't get me wrong. But this is not about peanuts. This is about uh, sweet potato. Yep. I'm going to take some sweet potatoes. I'm going to start them in this, these two jars. I got some water in this container I've let sit for a couple of days. So you know all the chlorine's off it. I think that's pretty important. Because chlorine chokes the roots. So you don't want that to happen. So um, the plan is... Put that water in here. Take toothpicks, maybe put one here, one there, and so and so, and let these roots shoot out. And they take some time, but the roots will start shooting out of here. And then you can take clippings and uh, get them ready for the springtime. And that is kind of the plan. So um, I'm hoping it works out that way. But nonetheless, it's just going to be an adventure. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, um, you folks may not know, uh, if you haven't been following me, uh, you may not know that I've planted some jalapeno peppers uh, starting on December the 21st and one a week. Well, I haven't had any germination yet, and they need about 85 degrees to germinate. And I don't keep my house at 85 degrees. I don't know anybody who does. So when, <laughs> whenever the sun comes out in a south-facing window, I'll stick them in the south-facing window. They'll probably take about three, three and a half. I've even seen them take a month to germinate. But you get some really good results. Um, but I do. A lot of butts here. Eh? Anyway, I've got uh, fennel, of all things. I planted fennel. And as a lark, of course, I didn't actually think it was going to grow, but it's the first thing that's up, which is rather surprising. I don't know if you can see that. That's a fennel plant. And there's another one right there. So, um, um, fennel don't really need uh, uh, warm temperatures really to germinate. Uh, however, I'm going to give them a re you know, they've already germinated, so I don't really need to do much. I've got underneath here, you can see I've got the LED lights here. I'm just going to stick it under there. You got some, uh, and you got here, there's nothing in there yet. But, uh, and of course I used an egg carton and I planted 12 jalapeno plants. Because, I'm having a little problem germinating them, so I'm just thinking, you know what? You put it in a, throw in a whole bunch, and hopefully three or four are actually take. Maybe I'm a little impatient. After all, it is January the 11th, and, uh, you know, <laughs> spring's a little ways off. However, I have this stowaway, refugee, if you will, um, pepper plant that I've taken in, and it's still hanging in there. You guys take a look at that. I even got a new flower on there somewhere, and, I don't know. I know that's a little bit of dust, and there's a few little bugs on there, but I take care of it. it needs to be soaked. It needs a good, nice bath. Also, too, I'm going to do a video um, at work next week of the jalapeno plants. They're just about done. Um, I got one brand new jalapeno on a plant that's really struggling, and the others, I don't know why, they just kind of drooped and just kind of, well, maybe they're reached their uh, maximum age, I don't know. I planted them last January, and I guess one year for a jalapeno plant's pretty good. Eh? And I know that they can last two years, but this is Canada, it's not Mexico. <laughs> so anyway, um, I thought I'd give you a little update on that, guys. And uh, thank you for stopping by. And Paul, if you're out there, you know I found some really cool seeds for Northern Ontario. Plus I have some uh, fennel seeds. Uh, fennel will grow excellent in Northern Ontario. Um, and a few other things that uh, I picked that I think will do well in a cooler climate. It's not much cooler uh, up where, he, where you are, Paul. But uh, a little bit, I suppose. Eh? You have a lot more snow, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, um, everybody out there, uh, take care. And uh, I'm going to try this experiment, with, and I'll take another video. Sorry.
I'll do, I know I'm scatterbrained. I'm going to take part two of this video after and uh, I will show you. Uh, it's probably be a lot shorter and I won't be talking so much, hopefully. Hope I didn't bore you to tears. Okay, how about take care, everyone?